Oh god, it does actually pull them like directly towards me. Okay, I can see there are problems with this. I can see that I might have some issues with this at some point. Hey everybody and welcome back to Sonic Hat's First 30 where we take a blind, unbiased look at a game you probably have never heard of and then kind of review it and take you through it. Today we're playing a game called Blazing Beach that came out yesterday. It's $15 on the Nintendo store. I got my, my nunchucks here. We're gonna go ahead and play normal. We have seeds, kind of like Binding of Isaac, uh, Nuclear Throne, etc. We can play as the green duck, the brown duck, the blue bird, the chicken. All right, I'm probably gonna play as the blue bird, but... So it doesn't... I don't think there's any auto-aim, so this may actually be incredibly difficult with... Because you have to aim with this, and then you have to shoot by tapping that, and then you move with the left one. Um, but we'll see how it goes. I like how my portrait at the top also reflects my bird's status. Do I have a dodge? No. It appears as though I just kind of have a shoot, and that's that's kind of it. Okay, I got a key. But there is one more enemy over here. I really might have to change these controls. I'm sorry, I did not mean to blow up you and your babies, but... So the key doesn't seem to be for anything yet. Did that guy just walk on his spikes before I even saw him? Okay, so that's just a delayed... What is that? Dead slug. Okay, hold on, we got a dead slug. Decreases your run speed, reload speed, fire rate, and weapon damage by 25%. Why did I pick this item up? This is not good! Ow. So, do I want the bone? I feel like now that I picked up that other thing, I don't think I really want the bone. Reduces your run speed by 30%. I don't know why I would want this. It, it is filling up that meter up in the top, but I don't know what that meter's for yet. Okay, so I can tell you I'm very, very slow now. Oh wait, this has a key, we have keys. I'm not sure, I mean, there has to be a reason that we would want to curse ourselves with all these negative stats, you know? And if it sounds like I'm slightly sick, it is because I am. So I apologize if I, oh God, <laughs> I was so slow. Hey, can you just somehow get hit by something and just die yourself? Okay, what it takes away all of your coins permanently? Okay, no, I'm I'm not I'm not doing that. I am certain that there is a reason why you would want to do these things. I don't yet know what it is. There's an invisible enemy. I'm seeing footprints. Oh. Oh, they're like invisible toads. Okay, let's not walk. Oh, there's some invisible toads. I'm not sure how you spot the invisible toads unless they're walking. This looks like a boss, because it has kind of a scary face on it. That's all I got. Oh, okay, it's, it is a boss. Okay, I'm not doing any damage. I'm kind of assuming that we need to get him to grab one of these spiky things. Okay, let's get prepared. Here we go, here we go, grab it. Oh, we can shoot him. Okay, this is clearly going to take a very long time. Let's go. Yes, I did like nine damage. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, we got extra hearts. We're in a good spot, we're in a good spot. Okay, he's dropping, he's dropping more enemies. He's dropping more enemies. So bosses that you have to do this kind of tactic with that, you know, you can't damage or you're waiting for something specific to happen are really not fun bosses in games in general. The ability to lay a spawner's egg. Extra HP does not allow you to pick up artifacts. What is this? 
Ability to fast slide and... Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that's an active item. Does that blow up? Okay. I thought that was just a, a one-time use item. Whoa, 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 whoa! What is that? Okay, its eyes are glowing again. Hello? Why? Why? Okay, so we have basically no max health anymore. Hi. Oh, so I gave- Oh, I gave him my negative items. Increases your run speed. When you take damage, every enemy takes one damage too. Chance that you will not be charged for weapon purchase in the shop? Oh, wait, I have... I only have two coins? I thought I had way more coins than that. What happened to all my coins? Did I have to pay that guy coins? Probably. Okay, I get it now. So you can drop off your negative items. Okay, so uh, I was suddenly too fast, and... Uh, I got seven coins, but I really don't know where they went. Okay, let's try a different character, though. Okay, so... Wow, I can dash all the time with this guy. Okay, so now I know that that's not just, like, a one-time use. It is actually... Oh, okay. All right. Uh, minus one HP and minus one max HP by leaving uncollected artifacts unless you have last HP remaining. No, no, I am not gonna do that. That is too much of a penalty. Okay, here we go. I got my teeny tiny laser gun. It is, it is hard to aim because there is, as far as I can tell again, there's no um, aim assist. And that's what makes Enter the Gungeon. Let me just, I was gonna say let me check, but there are no options. I will just assume that that is correct. So if you enjoyed Enter the Gungeon, this would be right up your alley. And this whole like negative items thing uh, that you can, can kind of convert to... Yeah, I thought there was something invisible there. Ow. So that bird often just blows herself up. Okay, so let's go in here, which I think is a shop. Right, there's the mailbox. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. I'm only in, interested in artifacts. Okay, so artifacts are just negative items. They just call them artifacts. Double pistol, bullets two, damage one, reload, distance, speed. Nail gun, bullets eight. Uh, I'll take, I'll take the nail gun. Yeah, sure. I can't fire. Maybe I just can't fire it in here. All right, the newt again, which I hate. Yeah, I don't know that we're necessarily doing more damage or anything. Ow. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, I accidentally touched him and died. I see you, I see you, Invisitoad. Oh no! All right, we'll just retry again. I just, not even, doesn't bother me. This is a bad situation. That I managed to make it out of just fine because I'm so good at this game. Okay, let's just take it slow. What is this? No, it was... I was reading it, and it was sitting on a trap. It was sitting on a tra- oh. Like, w what was the sign that one of those doors was there, you know? I have no idea. I swear to God, I am not doing this on- one more run! I am- oh, whoa, whoa! Can you stop throwing crap over at me from over here? Like, I died. I'm not sure. Okay, that guy. That guy got me. You know what? I'm not even mad about it. We actually got to like the second round. We killed the boss. 
So we're gonna go ahead and wrap up there. This was Blazing Beaks. I believe it came out yesterday. It's 15 bucks in the Nintendo store. What I like to do at the end of these is just kind of wrap it up with my thoughts on the game. Um, I would love if they had uh, an aim assist because aiming with just this is a little bit tough trying to get longer range shots. And so that is why Enter the Gungeon does that. It does help your, it, it makes it much easier to kind of play through the game and, and aim at enemies while you're moving around very quickly. I would love to see that here. I don't think it's gonna make the game too easy. Uh, I think it's just kind of a necessary thing if you're not playing with a mouse because it is just harder to aim your reticle like that. Other than that, I really, really dig the idea of um, basically cursing yourself with artifacts in order to exchange them for positive effects later. So you kind of weigh yourself down as much as you can and then you exchange them for positive effects as soon as you can get to a shop. Whether you're gonna survive to a shop, though, is a different story. Uh, but I like this game. I like what they're doing, again, with the curses. Uh, they have a lot of guns, obviously, because this is one of those games. I only got to see a couple of them, but at least they change your playstyle completely. It doesn't seem like you can get different guns. Like, once you have a gun, that's the gun you're using. Um, but I like it. This game is great. So if you're into Binding of Isaac, if you're into Enter the Dungeon, um, Nuclear Throne, I think this is right up your alley. I don't know why it's duck-themed. I don't care. I love it. And so, yeah, highly recommended. And there'll be links, you know, uh, below so you can check it out and pick it up on the Nintendo store if you want or, you know, whatever else. Anyway, that's it. We're going to wrap up there. As always, let me know what you think. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. You know, if I missed something or uh, you just want to let me know that I'm awful at the game, that's fine. You can go ahead and just shoot that into a comment. And until next time, burn bright, everybody.